Alright, hey everyone, this is a comparison video, Kaplan versus Princeton for the MCAT. We're going to be going over page by page, giving you the pros and cons. Let's do it. Alright, so the first thing we wanted to show you is uh, everything about DNA replication. You can find DNA replication in molecular biology chapter of the Princeton books. They start with a quick introduction of the whole chapter. With Kaplan, each chapter gets its own little glossary. You also get this little pie chart. So let's say you finish this chapter, you know you're done with 12% of biochemistry. So as we go through DNA replication in the Princeton biology review book, we can see that they cover everything in very great detail. They show us diagrams. They also give us more diagrams. And lastly, they talk about DNA polymerase and prokaryotic versus eukaryotic replication. The Princeton review books also come with questions within the text and they give you detailed explanation of the question in the footnote, as you guys can see over here. So at the end of each chapter, Princeton also gives you a huge table like this one, where they present you with the, with the essential stuff you need to have memorized. They also give you a summary table like this. You also get a set of questions towards the end. They give you about six to eight roughly freestanding questions. And on the second page, they give you a real passage. And you get about six to eight questions on that. And then if you flip again, you will find the explanations and the solutions towards the end, which are very useful. You see how you start each section with a learning goal and after you read those you know what to focus on during the chapter okay so Kaplan gives you illustrations with everything you read so it's good but it I want to say that it is not as detailed as the Princeton book okay here you can see how you have prokaryote versus eukaryote just like in the Princeton and then this is the semi-conservative model This is a very good summary of everything. Another thing Kaplan does is it gives you key concepts as you're reading. Sometimes you can also get mnemonics for specific chapters. This is an example of a mnemonic they have. At the end of each chapter, you get concept summaries, and these are perfect if you're trying to do your own flashcards or Anki cards. And then you get answers to those questions you got at the end of each section in, in good detail. And after you're done, they give you all the equations that you need to remember from the chapter the concepts that appear in other chapters and then you get practice questions multiple choice and you get explanations on each of these questions here are the physics books side by side Kaplan Princeton And each book has all the equations you need after each chapter. But the Princeton Review book 
has a special place for all the, all the equations, which is towards the end, right over here. And everything is pretty much stacked up, so you don't need to flip through the pages to find each and every one of them. For Kaplan, we also have a spot where everything is in one space, but it's in another little booklet they give you. It's called Quick Sheets. And pretty much this has a summary of all the chapters, starting with behavioral science. And at the end, you're going to find physics and math. Alright, so this is the website for Kaplan. Alright, so this is the Princeton website, and I'm sure you, you know this guy, he's everywhere on YouTube with his ads, but yeah, you could, you could sign in right here and access your information just like Kaplan for the three practice 